okay, the challenge is we're going to make this without the girls realising we're in the kitchen making this while they're looking after the kids. So, shh, I'm so worried. Phil, what's happening? So, we're getting a cheeky brew in today. The ginger brew has been a bit cheeky. We're trying to do a Woodford's Norfolk 40 pint real brew, uh, brew at home real ale kit. So, two cans, two yeast. This is Dan's favourite bit sterilisation. Ster clean, clean as a whistle, Phil, clean as a whistle. Sterilise it in, book it sterile. Not a caddy, tinny. Tinny, get the tinny open. Okay, so that's been in the, the warm water. Oh, sterilised scissors, pull them out. There we go. Yeah, we'll... I feel like I don't want to waste that. Yeah, we'll, we'll wash it with water. Marmite. Question for you, Dan. Do you know if both cans contain the same stuff? If they know the answer, whether the tins contain the same stuff, then let us know. Right, go Comment below. And Phil, before you to touch that with hot water in, it's going to conduct very quickly and burn your hands. Put that down there. Use that. Okay. Yeah. Hey, good luck after me, viewers. Yeah. Health and safety first. Don't drop the gloves in. Clean as a whistle. Okay. So, uh, process. Do yeah, we do? Do we? Yeah, we can just try and do it without. What about the girls know it? Phil had some wastage there when he did it, so I was going to try a different approach. That's just to scrape the top of the sterilised uh, scissors. Half a, half a scissors. A sis. A sis. <laughs> What's that one to the other half? Scissors. Sis. Scissors. scissors. Is that supposed to happen? Yeah, it's for washing to make sure they're clean. Oh, okay. Push this in. There we are, all the magic. So we want to get every drop out of the can because we want to get the highest alcohol content possible and the highest taste possible from the malt. So uh, we, we are just trying to give it a roll. Ah. Every little bit out. Are you still pouring the stuff out of the I'm can? Still shaking it. <laughs> Ooh. A little skit. Yeah, Captain, we're making home brew on this Friday night. You're missing out, son. Right, so Danny's just doing the last little bit. Up to five gallons. Five gallons. Five gallons. about there. And that's 19 litres, Dan? 19 litres, yeah. And the kit says 23, so we need to add a couple more litres. Well, I'm worried the wine is running low in there and they might come in really, really, really quick. Or well, you can take them more wine. Yeah. Or they might need to put it. This last. is the last one. And that will give us how many? That will give us 23 litres. Or 45. So what we're doing is we think about taking a hydrometer reading. Uh, what we need to do before we take the hydrometer reading is before we put the same into the water in order to uh, extract the beer, we need to actually just stay like that. We still rise it from the inside. Just to give it a quick spray to make sure it's clean. And that's with the start sign, no rinse. Yeah, I'm on top. So on top. <laughs> yeah. A bit of a wobble on there, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> you try to hold it arms there. Oh, I think you could be good there. We'll put that at the side. We'll let the wine look after the. Look after our okay. wood. So we'll just uh, sterilise the. Again, to uh, have bad beer. So, oh. so that's the yeast. I'm quite surprised normally when we pitch, we only just have one packet of, uh, of yeast. We've got the other browser. Uh, this time we've got two packets. So, so I'm just going to press the top, get it on the top. But we don't have any alcohol. We don't have, so we don't have any sterile water. Yeah, so the water's too hot. Kettle. We're afraid it will melt it. Uh, the alcohol <laughs> is quality yeah. alcohol. So I'm buying Pulse alcohol Ooh. or uh, 
Brecken uh, oh, gin. Oh, like Brecken gin. So it's too good to put in the thing. So we actually using some of this uh, uh, star sand uh, solution just at the top. Can we get that in done? We're just going to spray it. Oops, I'm trying my best. <laughs> spray all over the alcohol. There we are, Max Men. Job done. That's perfect. So this is the work before the yeast. And that's perfect. Look at that. Look at that. And uh, it looks like it's in the sweet zone from the distance. It's in the red zone. We just give it a spin because sometimes there's bubbles on the bottom of that causing it to stick. But you can see that on the red and it's 40 something. So it says 10, zero, uh, 1042. 1042. 1.042. Yeah. Phil, that is in the red zone. The red zone. The red zone. We like the red zone. Especially when we got the, the rugby top, tomorrow. Yeah, the red top. It means we're going to be beat Italy, doesn't it? Is it Italy tomorrow? It's Italy tomorrow, so... That's an easy win. Yeah. That's a gimme. So, I'm just taking from our fermenter to our boiling bucket. And the boiling bucket has got about 100 grams of sugar in for the... Um, uh, when we condition, so we can get some carbonation in there. Are we pints full? Uh, 40. What are you filling there, Dan? I'm filling the... 3 litre roller, roller. Growler? Growler. Yeah, we're all good to go, Dan. The, the, yeah. the battery's running low in the camera, that's all. <laughs> okay, well, talk, talk very quickly then. We've got tasting session, haven't we, for the Woodfords? For the Woodfords, so this is, uh, this is the shh beer. Shh. You've already had a yeah. sneaky preview of this, have you, or, or, or not? I've had quite a few of these, yeah. Okay, this is the beer we made in about 20 minutes, wasn't it? It's quite a popular, popular kit. Uh, it smells okay. It's a nice smell, and uh, there's a little bit of a head on it. Oh, oh, I've got good head. A bit of carbonation there. So yeah. Coming up. Yeah, let me show that to the camera. Oh, you, you got good head on that one. Yeah, not bad at all. Put, put plenty of bubbles on that one. Yeah, more. It's not a bad pint, you know, it's certainly a bit bitter, bit bitter. That's not bad at all, really. Yeah, a little bit yeah, thin, yeah. maybe. It's not yeah, so much yeah. body. I think this is what you could be, this is what you'd be served in a pub. I think it's, it's that sort of beer. It, it is it is a nice pub bitter. Slightly thornly. Yeah, it's a nice taste to it. You know, it's something I, I could be drinking. I don't think it's in the same league as the uh, the as we did. That's certainly and it's probably not as good as the bass that we did the all grain stuff, but it's certainly for a kitchen. It's a summer ale, though, I think. It's not. You say it's a bitter bit, but. No. There's I mean, nothing. I'm certainly, think, I'm certainly thinking beer gardens. Yeah, it's beer gardens on a summer yeah, so hot and There's no off flavours, though. I mean, you, you've done a good yeah. job down on the um, sanitation again. Yeah, the conditioning. It's conditioned well, so it had probably two, three months, isn't it? Yeah, it's been sat for. Yeah, it's been sat for a good ten weeks, I would think. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice beer. I could, uh, I could drink this all night long. I have been. <laughs>